How to update to Affinity 2.5 released right now? First, you must go here on Affinity Design Title, click here, check for updates, and then you're gonna see the option to update right here. My one is updated, so just click and then you're gonna relaunch the Affinity to new version. If you don't know what is variable phones, let me show you a quick sample. So variable phones, you can change the properties of that font. If you work as graphic designer, this is very, very useful and handy. So some fonts uh, you need to download. Let's say that you have here, uh, I have here this one that's called Commissioner, all right, this one. You have a, a plenty of good options to change that. And I have here this sample to show you. So once you click in the text you have inserted, you need to change uh, to the font that you want to change, all right? Click here in this option, in this icon, font variation setting, and then you can change and see the result right here. So the options is this. You have the weight, which is gonna change the, the boldness of the font. We have this length that represents something like italic. The flare, which is something more casual, and the volume that it really depends about the option of each font variable that you have. Now let's talk about the width tool. This is so far my favorite tool on Affinity 2.5. To enable this, I would suggest you to go here in view, go to the customize tools, and then you must uh, go here, click and drag the stroke width tool into your toolbar dock. I suggest you to do that because you don't need to click twice in the pencil and then open this tool. Now, let's try to use the width tool. First, you need to select the tool and then you're gonna select the curve that you want to apply the width. Here, I'm gonna change the hair width. I'll click twice in order to select directly that vector curve. So, you're gonna see here our curve and I'll click and drag and up my mouse so you can see that we can change the width on here. Also, I can click here in this part and decrease the size. So I can adjust according to the project needs. This is very fantastic. Let's say that if you want to change this part here specifically, but you want to make this thick like that. Another example of that, it is here in this project where you can change the width of the lines. Previously on Affinity, you should go here on Stroke and then you must change from this option right here. But now you can go in the width tool and change directly just like that. Remember that this option offers some properties like if you click here, you can change and have different type of size in the same line here. This will be addressed right here in the pressure. If you want to remove this, I suggest you to go to the pressure and then click to reset. It's going to make this as previous version. But again, you can click and drag in order to have this result right here. Also, we have here the options to lock the line weight, to lock the point ordering, to snap, and also to snap to width on the same curve. So, if you do something like this, it's going to snap at the same width just like the nearby one, as you can see. And let's say that I want to add a line here using the pencil tool. I'm gonna click and drag. If I release my mouse, you're gonna see that Affinity will generate generate the line. Here, before we, we, we were used to have a lot of nodes like this. You know, it was not very good before. Now we have a much better performance in these terms. It's easier, you know, to manage a work that you have less nodes because you can change like that, very easy. Let's say that you want to add here a very simple hair. I'm gonna use the pencil tool using mouse, all right? I would disable here the stabilizer so you can see the performance. I'm gonna make a, a hair just like this. I'm gonna remove the fill and I'll keep like this. Look, the quality now is much more cleaner, you know, we don't have a lot of nodes, it's easier to work with. It is time to cover about the auto-close improvements. If I enable here the auto-close, you can click here on top, you must uh, have the pencil tool selected. I'm going to draw here a balloon, let's say that you draw something like this. 
now if you go onto the very final you know uh, part of your line it's going to have this red you know line that's going to close if you release your mouse so before you needed to go manually and now it's easier this is a much more intelligent way to work with and also the scope now if you let's say redraw it works I'd say that's a bit more intelligent you know than before so you click in the line that you want to start and then go here you can redraw the line and then just do this so you're gonna see that there is a, a line you know in between and then you click and go here it's gonna kind of redraw you know the line but essentially the auto close it's made the work easier in these terms you can just draw the shape the line and even make something like this which is really really cool the carry code feature let me tell you how you can enable this first you need to go and hold and click here in the toolbar section you're gonna see the QR code in this part here below so if you enable you can click and drag your QR code but in order to have the the proper link you must go here on top in this section and then you can tab here let's say let's say that I type this vectorizeclub.com and hold and click ok this will be generated according to what you type here so if you type A you know, and then hit ok it's gonna be A if you hit B it's gonna be B so uh, always check right a suggestion before you do this for your client always check if the the car code is working properly right don't you know send without testing so here is where you can change link change the color as you want and you're good to go and then we have the typography dialog to find this tool here you need to select the text uh, tool all right and I'm gonna see the context this fi button which is the typography if you click here you're gonna see these options so if I select all right the text that I have you can change this immediately by clicking on there so this is an improvement about the UI all right they have improved this to be I'd say uh, simple and faster also another way to enable this is by going here in window text and enable here in typography but I prefer to go here in this button and for last not less important of course we have the native windows arm 64 support which means that i think we will handle much better with windows based in these you know uh, settings here uh, i don't use he here windows i use mac but so far i think that this is a good improvement for users that use windows and if you want to follow more about the um, I've finished updates you can go here you know in their website and they have uh, all others improvements as well you know if you want to follow up but so far I wanted to bring here a quick update about the most important features all right so that's it uh, I want to also uh, update you that I will be updating my courses all right the affinity 2.0 uh, courses on Udemy on the vectorized platform on iPad and desktop so I hope that you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.